We present the application of below knee back slab for management of lower limb fractures and dislocations. Authors and disclosures below. Indications include ankle fractures such as distal tibia, malleoli fractures, tarsal, metatarsal fractures, and less frank injury. Equipment required includes plaster of Paris, padding, crepe, scissors, tape, water, bucket, and PPE such as a gown if required and protective sheet under the patient. We're using two rolls of soft band padding, two rolls of the 15cm and 10cm plaster of Paris, and two rolls of crepe. The water used in the bucket is cold to give us a longer working time. With the patient lying supine, we measure out the length of plaster required. For the back slab, we measure from the metatarsal heads to approximately three finger breadth below the knee crease. And for the U slab, we aim for a similar level as the back slab, hemicircumferentially around the leg. Using these measurements, we prepare eight to 10 plies of plaster for each of the back and U slab. With the help of an assistant holding the toes, we now apply the 10 cm size soft band going from distally to proximately, overlapping 50% at a time, with additional reinforcement around the heel and malleoli to prevent pressure injury. This is followed by a further 15 cm size soft band to complete the rest of the leg. For the application of plaster, the assistant holds the grey toe whilst the patient's knee is flexed. It is important to ensure that the ankle positions in plantar grade at 90 degrees. We apply the U-slab first along the medial and lateral side of the lower leg, then smoothing out the plaster to ensure there are no significant creases. We follow this with the application of back slab, which was prepared earlier and applying from the metatarsal heads distally. It is important to ensure both plasters do not encircle the leg. There should be two crepes close by. Starting with the 10 cm size crepe, wrapping from the ankle and traveling distally. At this point, any excessive plaster can be folded back with the crepe. Next, we complete the rest of the leg with the 15 cm size crepe. While the plaster is setting, we continue to flex the knee and rest the patient's ankle onto the applicator's torso at 90 degrees. At the completion of plaster application, ensure all five toes are visible and that the patient has free range of motion at the knee joint. Also examine the neurovascular status and always do a post-reduction x-ray. Encourage the patient to elevate the injured leg and arrange DVT prophylaxis as required and fracture clinic. If there are any concerns, escalate to the ED consultant or orthopedic registrar on call.